Mental health is a great contributor to one's well-being. In recent times, cases of people committing suicide have been on the rise, especially during this COVID pandemic period. Today, we are simply asking the question, why? You want to stay always in the dark, you don't want to talk to people, you don't want, you are hanging out earlier, you're not hanging out with people. Okay, we have introverts, but also introverts have people that talk to each other. So you, even as an introvert, you do not want to talk to, you only want your own space. And this space of yours, you want it from January to January. That is not a good sign and uh, it really should be worked on. We have actually decided and um, agreed upon ourselves that we are fine. We have not agreed and told ourselves, if I am not fine, I am not fine. We have not accepted that not being fine, it's okay. So in most cases, unapata, someone just brings, unaka, you, you're just there in your own shell. Something is going on in your life. You don't want to speak out. And also, you don't know who to speak to. You don't know how you're going to reach that person that you want to speak to. So you find in most cases, suicides are... In, at a high rate because we lack people that we trust to talk to necessarily and just to open up and to be free on what we, we are going through. One, uh, misuse of drug drugs. Uh, two, family, family repetition of suicidal cases, depression, uh, low income and unemployment. There are so many needs each and everyone has and whatever everyone is earning is never enough for, for your own needs. Again depression because you especially our generation overthinking and all those things that can cause suicidal cases. What comes to mind is people taking away their own life, maybe frustrated, depressed, suppressed, oppressed, and then they choose to take their own life into their own hands. Because everything begins in the mind. Your most powerful resource you have, other than your heart, is your mind. And in your mind is where everything is processed. Even scripturally it says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind needs to shift, think different things. Whatever you think, whatever you speak, thoughts um, as Speaking is a, is, a, is a byproduct of what you think. So how you think determines how you perceive life. Uh, if people who have committed suicide could be actually be interviewed, you'd realize what probably killed them was not as major as their mind internally made it to be. Uh, there are so many cases of suicide because for one we have, you know, social media pressure. There is a uh, high cost of living. There's also, you know, people comparing uh, their lives to other people and such. I think that is one of the most uh, things that cause depression or to commit suicide. Maybe it's not that they've increased. Maybe a long three years ago there were just as many or even more suicide cases than there are right now. But me even you know, Nikiji to me come example. I also feel a lot of pressure from outside. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go but every time you, you get something, you know, I'm going to go, hey, I'm going to go, hey. Now, if, if you don't respect the process, or you don't even know what the process means, you know, you're going to go, ah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. There's a very big relation between mental illness and suicide, because um, very many things that are, that lead people to commit suicide start mentally. Yeah, they may be caused by financial reasons, like during this COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people have lost jobs. Yeah, a lot of businesses have been shut down. Yeah, and this um this has led this has led to very many people being financially incapable of handling many things. Many parents maybe had their children in private schools. Yeah, but they had to take them out of those private schools because of high fees. Yeah, very many, uh, some people maybe were living in high-end places and maybe expensive apartments, but they had to migrate to cheaper places. Yeah, such things, they have an effect on the mind. Yeah, and if people don't have an avenue of talking it out, yeah, it builds up on their mind and they may 
end up committing suicide. How many hey, people are just tired? They are just tired. They just want to drink now, whether it's at home, whether it's at the bar. I think point ni kujisahau wapo. So I don't know if I can blame everything on COVID-19, but you and I may kujana how could job kona familia your a student students wame kwanje for i think almost a year now na wakienda wanaingia sijui exams sijui cbc crusade scarecrow mm -hmm. i don't know this this is a lot and we're not being taught how to deal with it mostly because atuja face kitu kama hii for the like the past century so no one living who is making noise in the industry can tell us hey to sharp it take it to relax to not fuck funny even 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 so we're just winging it we are sad but smiling about it yeah. we need to have more faith we need to have hope and hope so even as a manga i hope i'll give you scriptural this is a definition of faith it is the absolute expectancy of coming good so that it's despite and in spite of my circumstances there's a better better tomorrow that is faith hope is knowing that is going to happen and loving one another and loving those around you when there's suicide it's a judgment on the person who's died on the survivors on their family on the church and the society as a whole so right now we are beginning to think kenya is sick as a society we are not sick but that that happens it makes the whole society feel weird now as a society as a church as a government we need to change that we need to have positive vibe we need to give words are powerful what we speak we become what we speak to people they become words create god created by using words it's the same words we need to use the bible talks about whatever is lovely whatever is pure whatever is think on those things a certain percentage of the people are are not men mentally healthy because you see like a policeman if he's He's the one to be giving help. Who is he going to get help from? So the, the, the government, I can say the government can actually bring out an initiative where even these policemen have people that they can go talk to, even these doctors, even the therapists themselves, because I've had a case of where a therapist actually went and committed suicide because she did not, she was not in a position to just open her her mind and, and and you see this is a therapist so the government should put up an initiative whereby at least such cases are worked on we have centers where the police can go just specifically for the police and specifically for the doctors so that at least we do not lose the most important people to our country learn how to talk just don't keep quiet with your own problems because in one way or another when you talk to someone you find that even them they are suffering probably even worse problems that are undergoing because all the signs that we were told would happen have happened wars rumors of war um virus viruses by the way at times the, the revelation talks about beasts some of the beasts are actually minute beasts that you cannot see with your single eye covid 19 those are the beasts we're talking about the kind of wars the conflicts the kind of tension that is in the world this is definitely the last days. i wouldn't say i am exactly on the topic suicide but i am always preaching mental health Always, always, always. Sana sana wanaume. Majo wanaume, sana sana wa Africa tumewambia wa kandimu, unafaku kangumu, wanaume wa faikulia. We should break down this mentality that men should not open up here. He it should be completely be done away with. And there are very many avenues of men opening up. I know it's not African of us to go to the psychologist or to go to, to a psychiatrist. Yeah, it just doesn't fit mentally well with us, but we have people we can consult with, we have our religious leaders. We can't, we can't come up with the solutions if we don't delve deeper into the problems. Yeah, because we have to look at these problems right from their root cause. You see, yeah, like these suicide cases uh, currently, uh, most of them, yeah, most of these people don't just wake up one day and decide to commit suicide. Yeah, there are some underlying issues. And as we have come to notice recently, there have been very many suicides that um, are being, have been related to murder cases. Somebody commits murder, yeah, then since they have that guilt, yeah, first of all, they know that they may be going to end up in prison. Yeah, then they also know that they cannot live for the rest of their life with that murder on their conscience. They end up committing suicide. Awareness should be done to as low as PP1 level, to as high as 50 year old or 70 or 80 year old level because these things start when we are young. 
depression starts even you can find a, a, a child aged um 12 they're depressed uh, we have had cases of children um hanging themselves so these health uh, men, um adverts and um talking about these things should go away low to our children in school it should not just, should not just be i don't know teenagers and um high school or campus students or the 40 people aged it should go all the way down and all the way up more awareness people coming out and uh, you know talking try to talk to others telling us that you know you don't need to commit suicide you can ask for help seek for guidance and counseling what people don't really understand i guess when you're in that state of mind i'm tired i want to just sleep and forget about it but you don't think about the people that you leave behind let's take a short break but we'll be right back with more so stay tuned. We're differently able, differently.